Today, we're going to talk about four World Heritage Sites under the collective group of Baroque churches of the Philippines. In 1993, UNESCO designated four churches in the Philippines as World Heritage Sites. These World Heritage Sites are composed of four Spanish-era churches, the Pauay Church in Ilocos Norte, San Agustin Church in Manila, Miagao Church in Iloilo, and Santa Maria Church in Ilocos Sur. One of the most common characteristics of Spanish-era churches in the Philippines is having qualities of a fortress, massive, solid, and sturdy. The reason behind is the intention to seek protection from intruders and invaders. Since they had to make big churches, another problem that aroused was the fact that the Philippines lies on the Pacific Ring of Fire, which means earthquakes happen frequently. This led to the integration of prominent buttresses, the separation of bell tower from the main structure, and more design interventions. This unique architectural style became known as Earthquake Baroque. Now let's take a closer look at the churches. St. Augustine Church of Bawai, most commonly known as Bawai Church, is located in Bawai, Ilocos Norte. It has been declared as a National Historical Landmark in 1973 and in National Cultural Treasure in 1993, the same year it has been declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The parish was founded by Augustinian missionaries in 1593 to spearhead the spiritual conquest in Ilocos. In 1694, the construction of the Baroque-style church started, and it was partially completed in 1710. The building had to be used before its full completion so people under the joint auspices of the church and the town officials kept on building on and repairing the church. It was officially completed in 1894 as led by Father Antonio Estavillo. On February 28, 1896, the parish conducted the inauguration ceremonies of the church. The White Church has also played its role in Philippine history by being a refuge during revolts. The tower was used as observation post by Katipuneros during the revolution and by guerrilleros during the Japanese occupation. Although the massive church building was damaged by earthquakes in 1706 and 1927, it was later restored to preserve its architectural features. Kauai Church is built of large coral stones on the lower part and bricks at the upper levels. Perhaps the most striking feature of the church would be its massive buttresses with volutes at the sides and back of the structure. These buttresses are architectural solutions to help the structure resist seismic forces during earthquakes. It is also worth noticing that the bell tower was built separate from the church building itself. This is a common setup in earthquake baroque architecture where the tower is built away from the church building to protect the building from further damage when the tower happens to collapse. Within its massive structure is a remarkable beauty and spirituality. Its interior showcases its decorative floor patterns, the altar, and the exposed roof trusses. At present, the church has helped not just the spiritual aspect of the community, but also its economic aspect by attracting several visitors and improving the overall tourism of the city. Next on our list is San Agustin Church, also known as Archdiocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Consolacion. This Baroque church is located in Intramuros, Manila. Other than being listed as a World Heritage Site, San Agustin Church has also been declared as a National Cultural Treasure in 1973 and as a National Historical Landmark in 1976. Plans of the church were approved in 1586 and the structure was completed in 1607, making it the oldest stone church in the Philippines. In fact, it is the only church building left intact in Intramuros after World War II. Its main composition is mostly of adobe stones, quarried from Maykawayan, Binawanan, and San Mateo Rizal. Due to lack of resources and manpower, San Agustin Church started its operation in 1604 before its completion in 1607, a similar scenario with Pauay Church. Unfortunately, the architect of the church 
Juan Macias, had died and was not able to witness the completion of his masterpiece. The church has also become part of our colonial history. It survived the British invasion in 1762, the Spanish-American War in 1898, and the Japanese invasion in 1942. During the Japanese occupation, the church was used as a concentration camp for prisoners where Japanese soldiers held Filipino captives, many of which died during the three-week-long battle. Although San Agustin Church managed to stay safe from battles, the structure is not exempted from earthquakes that occurred in Manila. Good thing the structure was able to withstand major earthquakes in 1645, 1754, 1852, 1863, and 1880. The church was renovated in 1854, led by architect Luciano Oliver. The facade of San Agustin Church has Baroque elements, especially the wooden door with ornate carvings. Its church choir has 68 carved Molave seats with nara inlays, an artistic lectern, and parchment cantorals of the 17th and 18th centuries. Its interior also showcases magnificent trompe murals on its ceiling and walls. Trompe is an art technique that uses realistic imagery to create the optical illusion that the object exists in three dimensions. The trompe on the ceiling was painted by Italian artists Cesare Alberoni and Giovanni Di Bella in 1875. Another World Heritage Site is Santa Maria Church, also known as the Church of Our Lady of Assumption. This Baroque church can be found in Ilocos Sur. It has been declared as a National Historical Landmark in 1973 and a National Cultural Treasure in 2015. Santa Maria Church was founded in 1765. The actual completion of the present structure is undated but it is worth noting that the church was raised to the ground in 1822 and was rebuilt thereafter. Unlike the usual setup of churches built across the town plaza or municipal hall, this brick church was perched on top of a hill. It can be accessed by ascending 85 concrete steps leading to the top where they also built a school and a bell tower. The hexagonal bell tower, separate from the church building, was built in 1810 and still stands today. Its bells are dated back in 1811, even older than the present church. The church was remodeled in 1863 to 1871, where they reinforced the knoll with huge stone boulders for added strength. As one of the mission churches of Spain in the 1700s, Santa Maria Church has played a role in the Christianization of the northern parts of the zone. Newly arrived missionaries learned Ilocano language before setting out to neighboring towns. The church also served as a retreat house for Augustinian missionaries and for sickly elderly friars. Interestingly, the buttresses protecting the massive structure from earthquakes are circular in shape. Its interior walls and barrel ceilings are painted in white. As the walls and ceiling display simplicity, the church floor gives contrast to the image with its colorful tiles and neatly aligned wooden pews. Last but not the least would be Miagao Church, also known as the Church of Santo Tomas de Villanueva. This Baroque Romanesque church is located in Iloilo City. It has also been declared as a national cultural treasure a National Historical Landmark in 1963, a National Shrine in 1973, and finally, UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993. The construction of Miago Church began in December 1786 and was completed in 1797. Its structure is built of stone blocks quarried at Sitio Tubog in nearby San Joaquin town and in the mountains of the town of Igbaraz. Like other Spanish colonial mission churches in the Philippines, Miago Church was executed not by architects but by Spanish friars who came as missionaries with the help of local master builders. 
The church lies in the highest elevated area in town, serving as a refuge due to frequent motor raids they experienced in the former locations of the parish. This explains the 1.5 meter thick walls and the buttresses of the church which are thrice thicker in size. The belfries also have secret passages for defense. In 1898, during the revolution, the church was destroyed and subsequently rebuilt. It was also damaged by fire in 1910 and was severely damaged by earthquake in 1948. Restoration works to preserve the structure began in 1960 and were completed two years after. Miyago Church is probably one of the churches you'd easily remember because of its unique facade design. A relief sculpture of Saint Christopher carrying the Christ child lies at the center of the masterpiece together with a coconut tree, papaya, and guava shrubs filling up the pediment. These designs give an impression that is native Filipino. Another distinct feature is the twin belfries with different designs. While most twin belfries exhibit similar and balanced designs, the belfries of Miyago Church have different levels and roof design. So there you have it! The four Baroque World Heritage Sites of the Philippines, Poai Church, San Agustin Church, Santa Maria Church, and Miyago Church. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell button for notifications. Once again, this is Smart Cards Architecture. Happy learning!